He seemed to really enjoy it. And now he's got another match to look forward to. His prodigy, the man he's been working with for the last six, seven weeks, a man that everyone has been watching and, and a real backbone to why this event is happening today, Mr. Larry Wheels taking on Schoolboy, one of the most popular names in all of arm wrestling. Let's see what happens now. This is just a, such a pivotal match, such an important match. I mean, it's the it's the coming out party for a strength athlete, someone with genuine strength pedigree. And Larry Wheels is definitely going to be watched by the strength world here. People want to see how Larry can do. They want to see if the experience that has been poured into him by Ray Lipinch is going to be worth anything. The moment to prove that is right now. And he's against a very difficult opponent. A really tricky opponent in Schoolboy. This is a big man. For anybody out there who's watching the feed who isn't familiar with Schoolboy. Please understand. We're not talking about a small individual. We're talking about a guy who is very, very serious indeed. He's 6 feet 5 inches tall. 110 kilograms of him. Schoolboy is a wrecking ball. He is a wolf in sheep's clothing. And Larry Wheels is going to need to get the brakes on him early. The same scenario that we saw in the first match. And things have changed. This time Larry Wheels has to do what Ray Lipinch did. Back over to our host. King of the table. In association with the Dubai Arm Wrestling Club. Big thank you to all of you for turning out down here in Dubai and of course all the tens of thousands tuning in across the globe. We'd love to have you here in the heart of the UAE as we bring you world-class arm wrestling straight to your homes. Match one has been done. Time now for match two. And time for an education. Just 21 years of age. He is quite simply a strength sensation. The man taking the world of arm wrestling uh, by, world by storm. He goes by the name of Alexander Toprol, but you, the world, know him as Schoolboy! Here we go. Schoolboy. And he's under pressure here. The Russian athlete, extremely powerful, very, very elusive and he's made to top roll. Six feet, five inches tall. And coming out there, you can see the stature of Schoolboy. He may not look as physically impressive as Larry. However, he's got pedigree in the sport of arm wrestling. He's got experience in the sport of arm wrestling. And he starts here as a favorite. Oh, absolutely. And, and in terms of body weight, there's not much difference between them. Even though Larry is built like he was made out of granite rock, Schoolboy has that strength in all the right areas for arm wrestling. For this match number two of the King of the Table here in the heart of Dubai. It's time to ramp things up. It's time for wheels up from the United States of America, based right here in Dubai, where he has a huge following. He's taking strength to whole new levels, and it's time to wheels up. Welcome to the arena. Larry Wills! Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Huge excitement surrounded the entry into the world of arm wrestling of an athlete from other strength disciplines with genuine pedigree. Enter Larry Wills. Six foot one inch tall, and he looks like he's been carved from Zeus's tooth. This guy is powerful. There's the arms. He's flexing them already. I mean, the look. shoulders and the arm, the biceps, the triceps. But is it all show or is this man a legitimate arm wrestler? We're about to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Larry Wheels. Attitudinally, this guy has shown that he's elite level. He has taken the lumps. He's literally worked as hard as any man could possibly have worked to get here. How much is it worth? We're about to find out. This is exciting. Well, this is a match that back, when you close your hands, we've hands all been looking forward to seeing. Referee just going through a few final words with both athletes. 
Look how tall Schoolboy is. You He's can see now <laughs> that Schoolboy is a big boy, boy, isn't he? You call that? Well, he's coming. He's the heavier <laughs> athlete. He's the taller athlete. He's got the leverage. Obviously, I know. El, El was down. El was down. I guess he's with Larry. Open. 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 But the experience, Open. even though he's young, is still with Schoolboy in this match. Without a doubt, was. And and Larry is about to feel the Close your thumbs. He's about to get that first hit, and that's the important. Do not move, gentlemen. Do not move. Early, Do not cover your knuckles when match. I close your hands. But he needs close your hands. It. He needs to slow Go! it down. Huge drive and Schoolboy breaks the hand. Whoa. He's laying down a message there. Schoolboy just took the hand and wrist of wheels and sat up. Little dominant. And that's that real Look match at the experience. There. Yeah. Look at the confidence. Whoa. Now, look at the distance between Larry's wrist and the arm of schoolboy he kept larry's arm at bay he created distance where there is none he hit into the hand of larry and then pronated hard and that creates a gap and that gap whilst it was only small increases his leverage exponentially as the match progresses and we saw the evidence of that there it was a crushing win for schoolboy 15 seconds he gentlemen outstanding now, Coach Ray is going to be working hard in Larry's corner, but my concern is, Time. with the best intention in the world, it's very difficult to get that kind, that level of expertise into anyone with practice alone. Oh, absolutely. There's, you know, in, in all sports, it's about being match ready. And this, this is, you know, jumping into the deep end for open. open. Actually, in terms of competitive experience, a novice. We all know how strong he is. You know, we, we've seen the lifts, we've seen the, the, the people he's been against. Close your hands. Do Go! not blink, ladies and gentlemen. Big drive! And that's the strap, and it was intentional. So do you think this can help, then? I do think road? it can help a great he's deal. Going he's going to be able to access that. Sorry, but my concern is that it's not going to help a great deal. I, I believe that, if anything, Schoolboy is more experienced in the strap. Sure. Than he is outside of the strap. A lot of people, he's going to blaze through their hand and wrist in his everyday arm wrestling experiences. He is happy in the strap. Larry may not be. Okay, open, gentlemen. Okay, center. Close your thumbs. Close your hands. Now needs he to come to win here. Big drive, but schoolboy still comfortable. Larry got a little purchase there, and this is better from Larry. Much better. But schoolboy again able to finish it. I'll tell you what though. He got more respect better. from Schoolboy that time. Yeah, that was far better. Much, much better from Larry. Uh, Schoolboy had a moment, a little moment of concern yeah, there. And he rushed the, himself. wasn't the same confidence that he had in the first round. Not at all. He drove hard himself and he drove a little too early himself. But fundamentally, you can see the amount of effort having to be put in there by Schoolboy and having to be put in there by Larry. Yeah. And the difference is that Larry is on the absolute red line. He couldn't give any more. Do you think sometimes in that situation, sometimes it's better to, to give up that round and, and come back a bit fresher on the next one? Or You know what, Lawrence? I don't believe that it would make any difference. Yeah. Um, I think it's just purely and simply uh, the, the experience gap is vast. This is Alex's brother with him there, looking after him. Another great arm wrestler himself. He is. Alex Pazaikov is a, is a fabulous arm wrestler, but the problem is that <laughs> okay I don't think he, he needs to give much advice at this stage. I, think, I don't think there's a great deal that can happen that's going to make it any different. Yeah. 15 seconds, gentlemen. So they've got 15 seconds to hook up again. 
And now Larry's going to be one of taking every one of those seconds. Time! He really is, mate. Let's go! Um, Larry's going to be feeling it. He's really going to be feeling this big time. I guess that's one of the disadvantages of having such huge muscles is that you burn through that lactic acid quickly no down. or the lactic acid builds up quickly and in terms of endurance you can lose that Center. power quickly yeah. Open. Larry is used to powerlifting one rep all out explosive power he okay. wants to be winning these matches within a couple of seconds anything beyond that Close he's going to drain quickly go big drive again from Larry but nothing doing there and schoolboy completely dominating the hand and wrist you're, you're moving in front of the replay camera so they can't see Look at the hand dominance there, and, and, and what's most important there is how intuitive Schoolboy is. Yeah, you can he's, see. You can see that experience. He's not having to think through the movement. It's there for him. He's just moving, reacting, and he's already got control of the, the match. Strap, Larry is feeling his way in the dark. This is new territory for him, and it's extremely difficult for him to find a foothold in the match. The strap may assist, but at this point in time, that, that experience gap is the difference between these men. Do you think it would be good for someone like Larry, Open. who clearly has great Open potential, up. to enter some competitions and, and get experience against lots of different arm wrestlers? 100% lost. Um, what, what Larry's lacking is not strength, it's not physicality, it's not potential. He's got all of those things, but what he doesn't have is match feeling. He doesn't have familiarity with the position. Yeah. And that's what he's lacking here. And Risk. Schoolboy at this point in time has been able to put a, a couple of serious hits into him, take away all of Larry's power, Thumbs down. neutralize it in an instant, and from there, Risk. Larry's panicking and he's unable to recover his position. Close hands. When he does so, it's nothing like what he's experienced One in training. Foul. Okay. You feel Open. for Larry Wheels. I'd love to see him get something in this match. But He's facing Open. an extremely tricky opponent. Yeah, an experienced opponent that Close your thumbs. already has the height advantage, the weight advantage. Close your hands. And there's more oh. training in this. Oh, oh, fast hit there. Oh, yeah. big yeah. 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 Sweet child of mine. Yeah. <laughs> and unfortunately, I, this is yeah, looking okay. on, on, ominous yeah. right now. Yeah, it's very, very difficult to see Larry getting punished up there like that. He's just not able to. Uh, Find a foothold. Um, How many we got? I feared that might be the case for him. He's, he, he, schoolboy's an extremely <laughs> yeah. tricky individual. I'm not keeping track of that, so. Uh, what round is this? The schoolboy needs to stay focused oh, as well. He doesn't want to loosen up. You know, he doesn't want to let Larry access that power because you know yeah, well, he's he such a strong man. Round. So he needs to stay on top of him and hit hard. He's doing exactly what he needs to do. He really is. I mean, let's be honest. Schoolboy came came to Dubai to win an arm wrestling match, and right now yeah, Sergio, so uh, he's he doing exactly that. Um, you know, you can't, you can't knock the, the man. He's doing exactly what he came to do, and he's doing it well, and he's doing it impressively. And right now, he's dismantling his opponent. Um, that was a comfortable victory. He, he, he what we call bone lined Larry. There, he took him out of position very, very early. Most arm wrestlers, when they start the sport, they're arm wrestling is done in straight lines it's done in lifting lines if you will the strength which you would believe is all time gentlemen and it's done in an isolated <laughs> manner it's not done in a joined way you're not oh, joining right. up the muscle groups it's like almost throwing an arm punch in boxing yeah. rather than twisting your body into the movement twisting utilizing the shape uh, that's what we're seeing here from Larry he just isn't able to piece the disparate elements together Thumbs down. Schoolboy. Close your hands. Cruising at the moment. Go! May slow it down a little bit. Dominates the hand again. It's over. And it's another quick win. Turning into a very, very difficult night for Larry Wills. We don't need an extra do In, in arm wrestling, even now he's got the win, they still finish yep. off the six for the show. Now matches. Now you know, you know what? what? If I was schoolboy at this stage, I would just jump into a hook with Larry. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, he, he's nothing to lose. Yeah. He's already Test got the match. A different I'd assist element. the guy. I would assist the guy at this stage, and I'd let Larry get where he's comfortable. Let him have a, a, a little feel, get a little bit of movement and experience in there. And hopefully Alex does that. Hopefully he doesn't just whitewash it. 
I'd love to see him right now just jump into that hook, let Larry find his feet. I hope that Larry hasn't uh, put it too many miles on the clock and that he's unable to recover anything from the match, sure. you know, just get a feel from it. Because at the moment he's not had a chink of daylight and it's a little, it's a bit soul destroying. It's hard for anybody to swallow that and particularly for someone like Larry who is such a competitive individual in so many environments. I think it's important to understand that Larry is still very much a novice when it comes to this sport. Yeah. You know, it's it's easy for us to watch his YouTube and, let's and go. see him training with the likes of Devon or Michael Todd or whoever it might be. But in terms of competitive experience, he's hardly had a match. Were you on this and, side last time? You know, yeah. I know from the little bit no, of arm wrestling I've done myself, I've I'm looked at as a big strong man, so people strap. expect this. Mm -hmm. There is strap. so much to arm wrestling, but he still needs to learn. The both the agree to the strap. And hopefully this experience doesn't put him off too much. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. One of my concerns was exactly that. Uh, before the start of the match, I, I, I did feel that, that Schoolboy represents an extremely difficult opponent. Of all the opponents that, that could have been selected for Larry, um, Schoolboy is a very difficult one because he's an elusive opponent. He's not Open. the type of guy who is accessible and he's not the type of guy who is going to come into the position on the table that favours Larry or Larry's comfortable in. He, he's, he's an opposing style. You, you'd like to see Larry against, say, like a hook? I would. I'd like to see someone who'd come and meet Larry head on, allow him to use the power. You know, if you were... Uh, planning Larry's career Close for me, hands. I would put him against go! someone who's not going to take away his power. A little better, now you go. Oh, so, go. He's looking better this time. Yeah. Alex, Alex has done this on purpose. He's la allowed Larry to get into the match. And he's letting him pull a little. Letting him try and find some position. But Alex is in control. Staying with Next. it now and tightening down. And there's the pin. That was that was better. That's what you expected to happen. Yes, right. I did. <laughs> I, 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 and, you, and you can see, you can see that Schoolboy is acknowledging there that Larry's got a lot of horsepower. But what's evident is Larry, even in that position, is moving away, moving out of his strength. And I think he may have damaged something there. He said he's done there. Yeah, I think he may have tweaked something there. What he what he means there is he's just he's he's gone to the absolute red light. Yeah. Past the elastic limit. Oh, I, I've, I've had a few sparring sessions and I've been there where you just have nothing left. I'm not sure we're going to see Larry contest the last round. I think he he, uh, he may have tweaked something there. I know what he did in the last few months. Clearly, Schoolboy has been training hard these last few months. Yeah, Schoolboy's at uh, early 20s. He's actually younger than I thought he was. I thought he was like mid 20s. He's, he's early 20s, 21 years old. He's an evolving force himself. He's got to be an exciting prospect for us. Oh, without question, mate. I mean, you, you've got to remember with Schoolboy, this guy is coming up through one of the most difficult arm wrestling nations on earth. Russia is a dominant force in the world of arm wrestling. And to be perfectly honest, if you can make it in Russia, you're, you can make it anywhere. And Time, gentlemen. Schoolboy is the real deal. So final round. Yeah, and I don't know again. whether we're going to see anything right. from uh, from Larry. So going straight I think, into I think, the strap. Yeah, I think um, Schoolboy will let it go anywhere now. I think he's going to allow Larry to pull. I, I would. <laughs> I think most most uh, most guys uh, with this kind of dominance in the match would have just allow Larry to to take it where he wants it and then sort of shape and move to him. And I hope that we see that from Schoolboy. I hope that he allows Larry to do that. Unfortunately, I think Larry's uh, gone to the bank. And uh, Open, there's gentlemen. not a lot left there now. Open. Schoolboy there, baby faced assassin. <laughs> Looks like um, he's literally just come back off his paper round, but to be perfectly <laughs> honest, the man is a serial killer. I think it, he was weighing in close to 280 pounds, I think. It's a big boy. Thumbs down. Let's Close see if he does allow Go! Larry to access the strength. Uh, he's being taken away the power this time. Larry has nothing in the match there. He just doesn't have there any at this point. Um, I got a feel for Larry Wheels there, Loss. Um, it's hard to watch that. It's tough. But 
I, I think, like I said to you, Neil, it's important that we all understand that Larry is still very much a novice in this yeah, sport. Be and it takes <laughs> years, <laughs> not just for the strength, because arm wrestling is a unique strength. Yeah. As yeah, well. so I mean, I people say it's all just technique. It's really not. The, the strength that some of these arm wrestlers have in certain areas. You know, if this was a powerlifting contest, Larry is going to wipe the floor with schoolboy. Yeah, you'd be looking at the same level of dominance that we've just seen from schoolboy in an arm wrestling set. Different, sport, yeah, different yeah. skill sets, you know different really muscle so groups that are used. Just need what, you, what you've got to love about Larry days. Wheels, and, and, and I respect um, Larry Farr more than any other aspect of his game, is the man's attitude. I mean, it's faultless. It's, it's it, right? total honesty. You know, uh, you can't help a guy. You can hear him in the background now. Not that serious. And he's supremely honest. Yeah. Definitely. Well done, Larry Wheels. My hat's come off to you, mate. Great performance there by Schoolboy and Larry.